Oh, hello. My name is Cyber and welcome to my channel. I haven't uploaded videos in a long, long time. I was waiting for getting that perfect studio set up so I could record with all these equipment and stuff. And I realized there's no point in waiting for all that time because you're never gonna have that. So I decided just to jump into it and make some videos. Um, I like to build things and I think a lot of the videos are gonna be just me building and learning new tech projects and, and bringing them out to you. Uh, that was one that I did, but the video got uh, destroyed, unfortunately. So maybe if you guys are interested, I'll go back and show you how I built that one. Uh, I do wanna modify that one and do some other projects, but that's gonna come later. Uh, today, we're gonna take the first step and that's gonna be to upgrade and repair the 3D printer. Uh, I have a 3D printer. It's uh, The setup is not really ideal for making videos. It's using a webcam from like 2010, so it's really bad quality, as you'll see in the video. The time lapses right now in the video are for the parts that I'm gonna use to upgrade the printer. We're recorded on that one so you'll see the, just a dramatic drop in video quality all of a sudden um, so while we're heading over to the printer um, I'll show you all the time lapse videos but what we're gonna do today for the printer is we're gonna install a brand new camera that's gonna work uh, for it it's a Raspberry Pi camera it should be 1080p so it should work perfect um, and then I have a big old bag of goodies here that I printed so hopefully it'll work out well uh, I'm gonna head back down to the printer and show you guys what we have currently set up and then we'll get right into assembling all this stuff and installing it into the printer all right let's go all right, so here we are with the printer enclosure in the garage. Uh, as you can see, the printer uh, has a lot of wires just hanging out loosely. Here's that camera that I've been using. Not very good. Say hello. Uh, and you can see that I just built a little stand. Sorry for the echo. I'm going to try to stand back because it kind of echoes in there. So now I'm going to take this, disassemble this thing, take it upstairs so we can put the mods on it. Uh, I'm probably not going to record this because it will just be blocked by my big head as I try to get a little tiny cables unplugged from it, but I'll see you guys upstairs. Uh, I forgot to mention also, um, all the parts in this video that we're using are all found on Thingiverse. I'll link them below in the description so you guys can do it yourself if you guys want to. Um, I haven't tested them out yet. We'll see how it goes. If there's any problems with the pieces and I need to modify the code um, or the models, I'll upload those also in the description for you guys. Um, I don't anticipate any problems. It should be pretty simple to do. Um, should be, shouldn't be too hard of a task but we'll see. So uh, let's get started.
So thanks for watching everybody. Just a quick video on the printer update. Uh, I did paint it white as you can see. I think it makes it a lot easier to see what's being printed inside. I think it's a, it's a nicer color. I am going for this orange and white color scheme on everything I think now. So you'll see that in my Print 10C video which will be coming out here shortly. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.